So here we have a 2009 Ford Fiesta. It's got roughly 144,000 miles on the clock and it's the 1.6 diesel engine. So it's come in today just for an engine oil and filter change. So as I normally do, I'm gonna start by removing the oil filler cap, pull the dipstick out before I attempt to drain it. That'll just allow the air to go back in the engine and it'll uh, flow out a lot smoother. Uh, the oil filter on this 1.6 diesel engine is right there. It's a plastic housing with a, I think, I believe that's a 27 mil nut on the top and a paper element inside. I will need to remove this uh, air filter box to access it. Just gives you a little bit more room. Okay, so I'm gonna start by popping that tray underneath just in case there's a bit of a spillage. So yeah, I need to take this air box trunking out. Um, start by loosening this Jubilee clip. I mean, you could probably fiddle around and do it without taking any of this out, but I like to give myself a bit more space where I can. So this multi-plug, you've got a red tab there that needs to slide up and a little lug there to push in. And off that comes. Um, looks like we've got a little vacuum pipe down there. Ease that off. Um, this thing here, we need to be careful with that because plastic does get brittle. There's one, there's one exactly the same on the other side underneath. That's it. Now with this one, I believe, we can just lift this straight up. It's quite a big airbox. There's a bit of trunk in here that needs to come off as well, actually. That's it. As you can see, quite a big, deep airbox. But it just makes access so much easier. So, there's the housing. Um, next we'll uh, undo that. So yeah, that's a 27 mil. So yeah, be ready with a something to catch the oil because you normally get a bit come out of there. There it is. So we go to the vice next and uh, remove this filter and seal. Right, so I put it in the vice just to make it a little bit easier to handle. Sometimes these get a little bit wedged. So I always get a screwdriver and give them a little lever. So it pushes down onto some uh, lugs in the middle of the housing there. Um, next I'll take the oil seal off the O-ring, which is in a groove down there. for a minute. I'll uh, grab the O-ring, get that back in there. That's it, back in its uh, slot. 
Looks a little bit twisted actually. That's better. Lovely. Right, okay, so um, as you can see, there's still a bit of oil in there. We'll tip that in the drainer and uh, we'll get the filter back in. So I've got the housing with the seal on it, correctly located in its groove, not twisted. Uh, the oil filter. Um, some people push it in here first and then screw the whole lot together. You can do that, but it's you're a little bit prone to uh, damaging this lug here at the bottom. It's got a little O-ring seal on it. So I tend to put this into there first. You can see roughly at the seven o'clock position, there's a, um, a hole, a drilling for it to uh, locate into. So I'm gonna push that into place. That's it, that's in there. Grab the housing. Yeah, that's started on the thread. Nip that up, don't go too mad because it is only plastic. You do give a torque figure on there if you've got a torque wrench to hand. It's about 20 25 newton meters, I believe. Yeah, 25 newton meters that one. Okay, so uh, next stage I'll uh, give that a bit of a wipe down and then uh, we'll stick the air box back in. So, this air filter box. As you can see the two rubber grommets here, the rubber, rubber holes on the box. You've got the two pegs, which simply push straight down into there. Simply. <laughs> so I think that's in, the, there it goes, that's in place. Put that back on. Push that on. Push this in. Um, we've got the vacuum breather hose there. And one multi plug for the airflow sensor. That's it. Just got to do that clip up. Wherever I've put the, uh, oh, there it is. Quite a good tool for doing Jubilee clips, actually. I mean, obviously you can use a flat blade screwdriver on there, but you've got a lot less chance of slipping with something like that. And it's good for working in difficult to reach areas. Right, so that's all back together. Next we'll uh, lift it up in the air and drop the oil out. So here's a sump plug on this particular engine pointing directly downwards. It's a 21 millimeter. Obviously you can use a spanner, whatever you've got to hand, but I do prefer to use a single hex socket where possible reduce the chances of slipping. So 
So that's a cold engine. This is, um, it's going to take a little while for this to drain down. The oil will be quite thick. Oh, that's still tight. Right, so pop that down there and let that do its thing for a little while. So before you refit the uh, sump plug, sump bung, you can see it's got a copper washer on it on there, which you can pick up from wherever you get your oil and filter. Um, sometimes it's an idea to pick up a new sump plug as well. This one, although these ones look fine. That's uh, that hasn't been crushed. It's not split or damaged in any way. So I just gave that a wipe down. Um, this has been draining now for ten minutes or so, just down to a slow, steady drip, which could probably carry on for hours like that. So we will call it a day at that. Get this plug back in. That's it. Nipped up. Right. I'll get rid of this drainer before one of us treads in it and we'll drop it down and get some oil in the engine. Right, let's get some oil in here. Dipstick is still up a little bit. So your part centre um, can advise you what grade oil is suitable for your particular engine. There are quite a few different variants on the market. And also of the quantity. Uh, this one takes just under four litres. So I'm going to start with about 3.6, 3.7 litres and run it up and uh, see how we get on with that. Right, so I'll fire it up and just let it tick over. You don't need to rev it up. In fact, it's um, probably best not to rev an engine up when it's uh, been drained down and refilled. It can take a few seconds for the oil pressure to build up. So keep an eye on your oil light. Yeah, the oil light's gone straight out there and it sounds good. Not the smoothest running Fiesta, this one. Yeah, not the best of runners, that one, but uh, it has done a few miles. So um, I'll just let that stand now for three or four minutes, let it settle, and then we'll... Uh, Check the level and see where we're at. Right, so I've pulled the dipstick out, given that a clean off. We'll just see where we're at with the level. Um, so they recommended it was just under four litres. I think it was 3.8. I've put 3.6, um, 3.7 in there. And we're right up to the maximum now. So, you know, 
just goes to show, um, start with a slightly less, smaller quantity and dip it and keep checking. If it's slightly too low, just top it up with little dribs and drabs. It's a lot easier to do that than getting back underneath and uh, draining out any surplus oil. Um, hopefully that helps somebody. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully the video's been of uh, some help for you. And if it has, please consider hitting like and subscribe. It will help our channel out no end. Cheers.